Hey, baby. Hey. Hi. What's wrong? Oh. Babe. No yeah. food, no drinks, no wine, nothing. Why? Yeah, no food, no drinks. I didn't bring you here to chill. I brought you here so we could talk. Okay. Oh, babe, I brought you flowers. Samantha. I brought you here to tell you that it's over between us. You're joking. I'm not joking, Samantha. I'm actually very sick and tired of it all. I really am. All my life, I've always wanted a woman who would stand by me. All my life. I've always wanted a woman who would be there when I need her. I've always wanted a woman who would understand that she has a place in my life. And most importantly, I have a place in her life. I've always wanted a woman who would know me, who would cater to me. A woman who understands the simple things about me. Like when I'm hungry, a woman who understands the simple things about me, like when, when, I need, when, when I need to eat, when I need something. A woman who knows the very, very easy, simple things, like my favorite color, my favorite food. Do you know my favorite food, Samantha? You don't. Do you know my favorite colors? A woman who knows that she needs to cater to her boyfriend, rather. But instead, you, you're, you're, you're catering to, to, to your laptop, to work. I want a woman who will always stand with me. Who understands that she needs to be with me. Not being away from me. Look. As it may appear, you might be at the darkest point in your life right now. And at this point, I do pray that you find someone. Someone else who will not give a hoot about you working 24-7, because I do. Baby, 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 would you be That's how we ended it, Avery. Just like that. Just like that, Avery. After three solid years of dating. Story of my life. <laughs> now, wow. You've just put yourself together, okay? No, I'm good. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> Louis is just going to mock me. Your brother? Yes. Oh. You know he was right. He had always kicked against my workaholic days all this while. Yeah, you told me. I need a vacation. That doesn't sound like a bad idea at all. I need to go somewhere. Hide, go, go smoke, something. Just be away for months. That's a good idea. So your job, what's going to happen to it? I job come born in here for all I care. Mm. Yes. So where are you going to now? Anywhere, everywhere. Lagos. You could go back to your brother's place, you know. Excuse me? <laughs> Did I speak Chinese to you, Samantha? Did you hear what I said earlier? When you said Louis is going to mock you exactly. to death. Yes. Jeez, Eberi. Just call your brother and tell me you're coming over, please. Ah, I'm so stuck on this girl.
Wakey, wakey. Wakey, wakey. Oh. My love. Good morning, my Omale child. I brought you food. I'm not hungry, Perry. <sighs> Samantha, you have to try and eat something right? so you can, just so you can be alive for me. Eh? I'm not hungry. We don't necessarily have to eat because we are hungry, but just to have something in our system. For crying out loud, you've not even eaten for the past three days. Hey, Barry, I can't walk away from Tiger's life like that. I know. He didn't even give me a second chance. Samantha, take it easy on yourself. At least you'd have given me a deadline. A deadline to change my ways. Samantha, you just have to let him go. Avery, do you think it's easy to let him go? Just like that, the way you are saying it. It's not. Babes, I know it's not easy. Trust me, it's not easy, but it's possible. I thought Tega would call me. And tell me, hey babe, I didn't mean it. No calls, no text message. He didn't reply my text. Hey Barry, Tiger, Tiger has hurt me so deep. He has driven a knife to my heart, through my soul. I am hurt. Maybe I am hurt. I am deeply hurt. It just feels like I am standing on quicksand and quickly sinking in to the ground. You know what? I don't even want food, okay? <laughs> just go. I don't just try and eat food. I don't. I put in so much work just to make this food for you. Come and eat something now. Oh, Tega. You're even losing weight. Come and eat so you can add weight now. You want to just let this food waste like this. It's not nice. Please come and eat something. Barely night six hours and we're already using first names. Samantha, how did you get here? Technically, I'm still your girlfriend and the estate securities know that too. Oh, okay, well I'm guessing that's because I have not informed them about the current status. Really, Tiger? Samantha, what do you want? I have thought over everything and I know I'm wrong, okay? I've tried to move on, but it's not working. Look, I need you in my life and I can't imagine you without it. The moment I try, it's, I fail. Samantha, we're done. We've been done. I need you to move on. Tega, I can't. A life without you, I can't. Well, you have your job. To, to help with my job, okay. And to help with whatever it is we Tega, have. Tega, no. I love you. Enjoy Baby! Life. You've kept me in that room of yours for too long. It's okay. I'll come join you now, okay? Okay.
Babe, I'm waiting. I'm waiting in the mood, okay? Use the door when you're done. Chasing lights in the tunnel My heart was heavy and broken Day and night I thought I'd never, never find a way Out of all, all the pains I feel But then I saw, I saw your smile And my heart was healed You showed me something That I've never seen You showed me love the part she had to tell you that it's over between us. Even if I showed you that I would you understand? Would you believe me? Even if I showed you that I can, would you understand? Louis. If you're going to continue mocking me and laughing at me, I might as well just book a hotel. Or better still get a service apartment. I know. Better. I know you warned me profusely and consistently that while chasing my dream as a career woman, I am going to definitely lose some part of my life. I know. Valerie, I need you at this point of my life. My life is right now just dark. I need all the love I can get, okay? My life right now is just shattered to pieces. I'm shattered, Louis. I need you. Welcome to Lagos, baby. Hello. Thank you. Sam, Sam. How you doing? You look good. You think so? So, how was your flight? Ah, oh, the usual. What? Have you been crying? <laughs> Sam, you came to Lagos to heal and not to cry. I know. They say time heals wounds, right? But it's been two weeks and I haven't been able to move on. Well, I made your favorite meal. <laughs> Beans and rye plantain. <laughs> Come on, let's go with me, big girl. I missed you. I missed you so, 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 so much. I missed you more. By the way, you look good. Let's go, let's go. You always keep saying that. Oh, really? Of course you look good, I love that. Hey, Barry. Ah, my 
flight was fine. Nah, I didn't get to sit close to a fine guy. I mean, because you've been crying now, that's why you probably have your hair and your makeup all messed up. You better leave me alone, please, Abek. <laughs> confess, just confess. I wasn't crying. Besides, who cries on a plane? <laughs> Babe, you've not seen anything yet. I don't want to see. Okay. So how is Louis? He's fine. He didn't make fun of you. That one. When I warned him, I told him never ever to make fun of me. <laughs> even before I got to Lagos. Samantha. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? So what should I do? Should I be crying? <laughs> hey, Barry. Is that cake you're eating? No, 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 no. Okay, why don't I call you on a video call? And let me see your face. I miss you. Samantha, I think you should just hang up and just settle down, okay? Bye. Silly girl. I get like cake. Eh? You know what you need now is an overhaul. I mean, you just need to reevaluate your entire existence. Huh. Yeah, right. Look, I understand that it's it's not easy finding somebody who loves you wholeheartedly. Mm. Exactly. But one thing is sure, yeah. You just need to let go of the old to get the new. Mm. Did you just say, huh? Look. I'm a believer in second chances, and I believe the universe gives each and every one of us second chances. Louis, the universe doesn't give second chances. Hmm. God does, okay? Larry, God gives everybody. I beg, come on, Vijo. But one thing I was going to tell you, or I will tell you, is for you to get the new, you just have to let go of the old, trust me. No, it's not as easy as you say it is. I didn't believe that Tiger would walk out of my life. Look, I understand. I know it's not easy. But then again, I want you to see these things as letting go of the past to get the game in the future. So, Beg, come over, Jari. So, did you enjoy the meal? You know, I did. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, why didn't you say something? I tell you what. If we were in China mm -hmm. or India, mm -hmm. I would have proposed to you. Ah. <laughs> God, I'm very good. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> so find something new, you just have to let go of the old. Come on, Come on sis. sis, you must you have must to let go of the past to receive the present and the future. And the future. Samantha. You have this. You've got this. Just move on, okay? I know your love life is like a broken wall. But out of this very same ash, you can build a better love life. One that is much, much better. So, Sammy, no more crying, okay? No more tears. No more. Just shake it off. You got this, girl. Just perfect, Sam. You've got this.
Oh my God, you look so amazing. I, I don't, I don't know. I don't I know, know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> my goodness. You know, for the first time since somebody came into Lagos, she's looking all pink. Well, somebody decided to follow her brother's advice. Okay, I see. <laughs> You're looking amazing, trust me. And you. your baby sis has decided to move on. Okay. Mm -hmm. You've decided to move on. Yes. Move on. Uh, yeah, that reminds me. Where are you going to? Anywhere. Everywhere. With my car? Yes. Yo! Look, you have to be careful with my car, please. No. Can you imagine? I hope I'm not making a mistake. Whoa! Careful now, huh? <laughs> you were going to bash this car just now. I just it is easy now, look! Hello, pretty woman. And good evening to you, sir. Very good evening to you. I hope you are enjoying our resort. Yes, definitely. It's beautiful. Thank you. Do you work here? I own here. <laughs> Please, may I? Thank you. So, what brings a very pretty woman to my wonderful resort? Um, I came here on vacation. Oh. Well, my name is Williams, Chief Williams Odete. So, I went to the beach, a resort. Yeah. I met an old man, not, not old, old, like his late 40s, okay? And I feel he's interested in me. Of course, I don't know. I Hello, said, pretty woman. Uh, hi, um, Avery. Let me walk you back. Hi. You're on your way out? Yes, I am. Wow. I hope we'll get to see you again. Patronize on us, beautiful face. Yeah? Of course, I will. <laughs> as long as I'm still in Lagos, I will. Wonderful. <laughs> can I get your number? Just in case you forget, so I can remind you. Sure. Okay. All right, take care. All right. I'll see you around. Okay. Ever, I would give you all the juicy details. Yeah. Okay, like I said, I went to a resort. Yeah, on a beach. This guy owns the resort, actually. Mm -hmm. Charming, classy, sophisticated. An old man, yeah? Hmm. Well, yes. And I didn't tell you he was 19. 
Neither did he tell me he was dirty. Look, he's cute, he's classy, he's smart. And old. Mm -hmm. No, let's just take it that he's in his late 40s or mid 40s. Hmm. Or 77. Will you just stop, Louis? Jeez. Can you just stop? Jeez, God. Look, I see you like him already, in it. Yes, mm. I do. Yes. Love us for a second. Well, let's just say there's something safe. Like, mm. when I met Williams, we just clicked. Something seemed right about him. The same thing that looked right with Tega in it. Well, technically, Tega was right and I was wrong all along. Technically. Oh, that's true. That's true. So, if you like this old man so much, can you at least do something for me? Okay. Can you at least use the experiences from your past relationship to at least wash away your mistakes? Now you're talking. Hmm. Now you're talking. <laughs> Look, I have a message for you. A very serious message for you. Okay. And tell him I said that the bride price is now 500 million British pounds. Uh uh. You would have tied a rope <laughs> and taken me to him like a sacrificial lamb. Oh. <laughs> Come on, girl, you're made of gold. Mm. Oh, please. Give yourself some steeds away. What took you so long, old man? <laughs> Am I onto my pretty woman? <laughs> Does this pretty woman have a name? Oh, yeah, Samantha. Samantha is her name. A name that keeps me wondering which is prettier between the name and the woman. <laughs> this is Samantha. Oh, my pretty woman. How are you today? Very well, sir. And you? I'm kicking. At 60. <laughs> Whoever told you I was 60? Well, if you are curious and you want to find out, just go ahead. I am 49 years. Tell me, are you still in Lagos? Yes, I am. Oh, good, good, good. How about hanging out with me tomorrow? Okay, <laughs> So what time will be good for you? Um, I think morning will be fine. All right then, so tomorrow is the date? Okay, sir. Good. Good night, Chief Williams. Good night, my pretty woman. Hello, pretty woman. I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. Well, when the wait is worth it, apologies are absolutely unnecessary. You sure do have a way with words, sir. And you sure have a way of looking so stunning, always. 
<laughs> well, you're not looking to brag yourself. You know, you are quintessentially beautiful. Yeah. And you're stunningly handsome, I must say. Thank you. So are we going to stand here and continue complimenting each other or are we going to drive up? Of course not, please. <laughs> So tell me, you have this resort, do you just hang around just to bump into beautiful girls? Well, pretty woman, in my 49 years on this earth, I've actually seen it all. I don't believe you. Well, because you know that I'm telling you the absolute truth. Are you married? No, I'm not married. Hmm. Of course, I'm telling you the truth. See, though I have an estranged son that I'm still struggling to reconcile with. But of course, you know what they say that um, perhaps I have misplaced priorities because rather than settle with my son, probably get married and have a life, I have chosen money making. But you know what they say, the more money you make, the more money you want. And before you know it, time is fast spent. Do you have a girlfriend or lover or something? No, I don't have a girlfriend. For real? Okay, well, but from time to time I indulge. By indulge, you mean what? Well, I mean, if I bump into a pretty woman, I could pay her, take her to a hotel, have a nice time, and that's it. So are you indulging in me? Of course not. Yours is absolutely different. Why is it different? What makes it different? Well, if I was going to indulge with you, I wouldn't be wasting all this time chatting you, taking you out, spending quality time with you, and being just generally nice. But in all sincerity, I wouldn't be wasting time sending you messages and going back and forth with you. And of course, I will not be saving your number on my phone as my newfound love. <laughs> so tell me, I just want you to stay and not walk away from us. What makes you think I'm walking away? Well, sometimes I could be boring. Well, I'm not a youngster myself. I understand very well that this wonderful time we have, mm. I wouldn't have it all the time. Oh. Well, 
You told me that um, you quit your job in Abuja. Mm -hmm. And you're planning to set up your own business. Yeah. Well, that will give you some time to yourself. It solves the problem. Yeah, that's music to my ears, but then... Then what? See, I've lived my life for a number of years that I've been by myself. I've had women from all over. From Europe, America, Asia, all across Africa. <laughs> okay. So I've seen it all. <laughs> you understand? But I still can't get over the feeling that I got from the first day that I set my eyes on you. This man right here. Mm -hmm. Isn't going anywhere. I promise to love you, to cherish you, <laughs> forsaking all, mm -hmm. and just you, you, and you alone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I feel safe. <laughs> of course, you have real to save. <laughs> you have me, and everything that belongs to me. My darling. Well? Yes, my love. This looks very mouth-watering. <laughs> How can you tell you've not even tasted it yet? Sometimes the eyes make better judgment than the tongue. Besides, mm -hmm. I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for you to get ready. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I was thinking. What were you thinking about? Why don't you relocate to Lagos? Huh? Yeah. You said the only reason why you're back um, at Abuja was because of your job. And you have quit? Yeah. And besides, you said what you always wanted to do was to set up your own business. Yes. So? Move back to Lagos. Because this is where you have the population for such business ideals. Right. And again, uh, I have some free office space at my property on the Lagos Island. So right there you could have one, two, or even three spaces. You use two for your stores and Are you one for your serious? office. Of course, of course. Wow. That way, you will be here for me and your brother. Yeah. Babe, I... Do you want to ask your brother and your friend? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right then. Do you wait till I ask? Of course I will. This space will also wait. Because it belongs to me. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Look, babe, there's something about this guy. Really? Tell me. What is it? I mean, his calmness, his smoothness, his warmth, security. Okay, okay. My baby's in love again. <laughs> you can say that again, Iber. I am head heels madly in love. Oh, I'm finally happy. I never knew that happiness would return to my world. I'm happy. And I'm happy for you too, girl, my Omalicha. Um, babe, there's something else I want to say. What is it? Tell me, I'm all ears. 
Okay, William has asked me to relocate to Lagos. What? Sorry. Even if I showed you that I can, would you understand? Lagos? Yes. Hmm. What do you think? It doesn't sound bad to me. I mean, you said he's going to give you free office spaces. Yes. Free stores. Yes. Well, not bad. So you agree with him to relocate to Lagos? Affirmative, yes, my love. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, here in Lagos, you have free office spaces, mm -hmm. free stores, mm -hmm. free me, <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Williams. So that's a yes for me, trust me. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you. I'm so glad you're happy. I am. Mm. I like it. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> Without. Making fun of me, of course. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I can stop making fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> fast in bed. <laughs> oh my god. Well, you don't have to. Well. God. <laughs> some little things I could do for my darling. God. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. I decided to hand you a little surprise. I guess we're even then. How do you mean? Well, since you decided to surprise your baby this morning with breakfast in mm. bed, I also have a surprise news for you. Good news or bad news? It depends on the ears of the listener. Okay. So what is it? What's wrong with your tummy? <sighs> well, I'm pregnant. We're pregnant. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what? I want to hear your beat. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I think I'm going to be a father to twins. Uh-uh, one, except we are pregnant. I don't mind, I'll share with you. <laughs> <laughs> Iber, what do you mean I can't get pregnant? Oh, come on, Samantha. What if that old man doesn't have marriage as part of his plans? Was that the chocolate I just heard? Iber, did you just bite a, a piece of cake? Samantha, you're the subject matter here, the definite article. Hey, but they do they use cake swear for you, eh? They use cake swear for you. The question here is, what if the man doesn't ask you to marry him?
Hello, son. Come on, come on, son. You, you can't tell me to stop calling you son. You are my son. And I'm your father. Your biological father. Listen, especially at this time of my life, I need you with me. Well, you know, I told you recently that I fell in love with a woman, but you don't even want to hear about it, hear her name, nor talk of discussing the relationship. Listen, this is someone I'm hoping that maybe sometime in the future we'll be getting married. And when that happens, I want you to be there. I want you to be my best man. In fact, you'll practically plan the wedding. Oh, no, 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 son, no. I'm not getting in touch with you because I'm planning to get married and I need you to be my best man or even plan the wedding. No. I have always reached out to you from the day that I realized that you didn't die with your mother. Listen, contrary, of course, to what your mother sister was telling me, my dear son, your mother's family have been leading you astray. I've been trying my best possible to get in touch with you. Now, I know that I did probably everything wrong because I denied your pregnancy and ran away, and, but I was scared. I was young. I was naive. But the minute I learned that you were alive, I tried to get in touch. Listen, I am sorry, son. Very sorry. Hello? 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 Tega, my son. <laughs> I love you, son. So, what made you change your mind? <sighs> Auntie Sabrina, she opened up. Yeah. She opened up and told me everything, you know. She told me how you ran away when you found out that mom was pregnant. And then she also said that the stories of you beating mom to death and, you know, premature birth, that was all a lie. Yeah. Oh, Sabrina. Devil in human form. Yeah. It's okay, Dad. Of course, it's okay. I have you back. Even if I showed you that I care, would you understand? Would you believe me? Would you? 
so dead. Where's your woman? She's inside. Ooh. Okay, let's see. Is she beautiful? <laughs> Quite essentially beautiful. <laughs> oh, okay, how old is she? Question is, how young is she? Oh, okay, okay, okay. She's actually young enough to be your twin sister. Wow. Mm. I see. So, enough of mine. What about yours? Uh, I mean, long story there. I mean, I don't think I want to go into that right now. Well, I have all the time in the world to listen to your tale. <laughs> of course you do. What? Samantha? Take her. You two know each other? That's my girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. What are you doing here? I should be asking you the same thing. Well, this is my father's house. Is this the same person you said you broke up with because you didn't have enough time for him? Oh my God. Tega, is this the same person you said you broke up with because she barely had time for you? Yes. Well, Dad, there is no way you're going to be walking down the aisle with a woman I once loved and you dated. You mean the woman you shot Excuse me, I'm house. talking to my father, please. I'm telling him what exactly, Tega. You're talking to your father and talking to him out of marrying me? After you broke my heart? Well, you were never there for me, Samantha. And that justifies your action by shattering my heart to pieces, right? And you think my own heart wasn't shattered? Dad, you are not going to get married to my ex. Period. Tega, and there's no way you're ruining my happiness. You're not breaking my heart the second time. I'm not going to happen. It's not going to happen again. The only thing that's not going to happen is you walk in the aisle with my father. Williams, you're not saying anything. Dad, you're not saying anything. Williams! <laughs> Samantha, just tell me you're not pranking me. Oh my God. But at least this time you're not breaking up, right? So what was his father's take on this? Samantha, see, you have to fight. You have to fight fate. You fight whatever that is coming against this life you've succeeded in having for yourself. This is not the time to cry or sob like a loser. This is time for you to stand and fight. Samantha, girl, this is not a dream. This is reality that needs embracing. Eh? Fight! Take her house to realize that this is reality. I don't even care if it goes to hell, please. Samantha, just please, just fight. You have to fight this. You have to. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Dad.
She was never there for me, Dad. Our relationship was one hell of a journey. And then my birthday, of all the days she disappeared, this one pained me the most. Spending the whole day together was all Samantha's idea, but unfortunately, she was nowhere to be found. I waited, and waited, and waited, and waited. some more, all to no avail, and then I slept off. And when she finally came back and apologized and tried to do what she called making it up, I still found out I was on my own. The little times she squeezed out to spend with me were the best times of my life. Times that I wished didn't have to pass. One minute she was there with me, the next minute she was gone with the wind. One minute we're in a fancy restaurant and the next minute I'm seated all alone. Yes, she was for real. And yes, she didn't even notice my existence anymore.
My neighbors would see her walk through my door into my house and be thinking I would obviously be having the best time of my life. But they wouldn't know that behind closed doors, my room had turned into Wall Street. And then I couldn't take it anymore. Did you ever ask her to quit her job? Of course I did. And what did she do? Baby, I can't possibly quit my job. So you're actually choosing your job now over a relationship? Over me? Tega, don't put it like that. But that's exactly what it is! I love you crazy. Like, I seriously love you, Tega, and I will go any mile for you. Okay, well, so quitting your job, that's a mile. Babe, I... Please don't... Don't... L listen. You have to choose. All right? You have to choose. And you will choose between me or your job. And why would you put me on hot seat like that? Tega! A very tough choice it must have been for her to take. A very difficult one. Yeah. It certainly was, Dad. And you have an even more difficult choice. What do you mean? Dad. There's no way you're going to get married to my ex. Son. Dad, you would either have to break up with her or lose me again. It took a lot of time before I found Samantha. And it's going to be very difficult for me to get her out of my system. Dad, what's even going to be more difficult will be walking down the aisle with Samantha. Dad, have you ever thought about how this would make me feel? Did you ever think about me in all of this? I mean, because I can actually just imagine the newspapers, the news in the media, Billionaire business mogul, Chief William Oditi, gets married to his son's ex. My friends will mock me, Dad. And then thinking about all of this, how do you expect me? I, I can't even fulfill myself, Samantha, a woman I loved and dated. My stepmother? Dad, and to think that I came all the way from Abuja to Lagos to reconcile with my father. Dad, you have three days to break up with Samantha. Otherwise, I'll think that you did not want me here or need all of this in the first place. Told you that I 
tell me you know it's not the end of the world here. Yeah? Louis, it's end of, it is the end of the world. Of course it's not. Why can't I just get it right? Why do I always romantically get it wrong? And I'm always walking on the path that doesn't seem to work. You know what I think? I think you have to put yourself together, okay? Louis, this is a difficult task you're asking me to do. Then you have to try. Maybe I should just go back to Abuja, right? Yeah, or better still, maybe I should just fly abroad. But Louis, I'm scared. I'm truly scared. What if this drama follows me everywhere I go? Well, Sammy, you know what I think? Um, I think you should just not close the door yet. I mean, <laughs> Williams has not made any decision, you know. Williams did everything in his power, everything to get his son back, to fight for his son. You think he would choose me over him? I absolutely mean nothing to him because his son is everything he has. Hmm, really? Tell me more. Louis, it's not possible. It's totally not possible. Williams will not choose me over his son. Now you see why I'm hurt. You see why I've been crying all this while. Besides, even if I say, okay, let me fight, right? Like you and a bear are advising me to do. It's a lost battle, Louis. It's just a lost battle. You know what I think, yeah? Um, I think you've cried enough and you should just put yourself together, right? Crying won't change anything. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Go on. I need to. You know what? I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Dad, have you ever thought about how this was supposed to be? Did you ever think about me in all this? I mean, because I can actually just imagine the newspapers, the news in the media, billionaire business mogul, Chief William Oditi, gets married to his son's ex. My friends will mock me. Dad, 
you have three days to break up with with Samantha. Otherwise, I'll think that you did not know what we hear or need on the list in the first place. I think I'm really doing the right thing. Well, in your shoes, sir, I will do the same. Right? Yes, sir. Okay. Here we go, baby girl. It's time for you to eat. Sammy. I'm not hungry. Hmm. You know what? You're either going to die of ulcer or starvation if you continue like this, you know, right? No, it's your family that will die of starvation. Well, of course, you're part of my family. <laughs> People eat when they're hungry. I'm not hungry. Oh. I accept that. And uh, people also... People also eat to avoid ulcer or starvation. Right? I just want someone to talk to Tega. At least let him leave me and William alone. What if somebody's already doing that? And just before the person completes his or her mission, you die. No, it is you that will die. <laughs> Look, all I'm saying is, just eat something. What if... Are you expecting somebody? Okay, um, I'll get the dog. If I come back, make sure you don't die and make sure you eat, okay? We'll be right back. How are you, Samantha? Hi, Willie. Um, my brother told me you're out. Yeah. Yeah. So how are you doing? I'm good. And you? I'm alive. Mm -hmm. I missed you. I missed you too. And I want you. I want you to, but... But... Whatever it is I feel for you... It's much more than the fear... Of ever losing my son. Are you serious? Yes. I want to marry you. And whoever it is that doesn't like that can... Take a bow. Yeah.
I guess what got us joined together, let not Tega put asunder. <laughs> oh, my son. Chasing lights in the tunnel My heart was heavy and broken Day and night I thought I'd never, never find a way Out of all, all the pains I felt But then I saw, I saw your smile And my heart was you You showed me something That I've never seen You showed me love Different way, you show me something that I never seen. You show me love, even if I showed you that. For a refuge, a place to hide, yes, to hide my fear from the ghost of my own past. But I could, but you stood, yes, you stood by me through every storm, yes, you stood by me. You showed me love, you showed me love, yes, you did. You showed me something that I've never seen. You showed me love. Different way. 